Welcome to Mass Effect, everyone. Before we jump into our story, we should talk about who Shepard was before he became the commander of the Normandy. His background is going to inform how he might view the world and deal with problems that arise. Of course, through notable events, he could change. Maybe he becomes colder or kinder, depending on what happens. There are backstories you can pick, like Spacer, Earthborn, or even Colonist, but I want to add some more detail to really flesh him out. Our Shepard was a child of colonists on the planet Mendor, a human farming colony in Attican Traverse. It was raided by Batarian slavers in 2170, leaving him an orphan and with deep resentment for Batarians. By extension, he slowly warms to any alien companions. Instead of one of revenge, Shepard's purpose was to keep anyone else from having to go through what he did as a young man. Though his loss has hardened him, and he isn't known for joking, he's still known for his empathy towards those who have dealt with comparable loss and suffering. He enlisted when he came of age and was known for his dedication to service. He was warned several times of a tendency to put himself into harm's way, even going so far as to be reprimanded for going against orders. This made him a favorite among the rank and file, and he rose to the ranks because of it. His career-defining moment that made him a war hero took place in 2176 when he fought in the Scillian Blitz. A combined assault of pirates, slaves, and warlords attacked a human colony, Elysium. Shepard rallied the colonists and he single-handedly held them off and sealed the breach too. He was awarded the Star of Terra and became a known war hero. Now, there are many classes and I did hold a vote. To do Vanguard won out. It's a mixture of the Adept and Soldier class. Adepts are Bionics who have the ability to create mass effect fields using Element Zero nodules embedded into their body tissue. Now, to begin our story. Well, what about Shepard? He grew up in the colonies. He knows how tough life can be out there. His parents were killed when slavers attacked Mindwar. He proved himself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. He's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. They called it the Great Discovery in Human History. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead, so that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. You always expect the worst. 
Now, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Joker! Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth system's engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Ethan Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. <laughs> is it me or does the Captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Yeah, and I don't really blame him. Okay, we're finally back now. It feels like we're back home right now, which I do not mind at all. So let's go have a look around. We're going to talk to people and take our time. My goal is to do everything I can. Well, look who it is. Navigator Presley. Hey, buddy. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. I do understand that. I don't blame them. So, you know what? I'll look into it. I'm here to look out for my crew. I'm the new commander here, and I've got to watch out for them. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. All right, let's keep on moving. We've got more people to talk to. Oh, hold on. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Ah, you watch too many spy vids, Jenkins. Yeah, maybe. Hey, Jenkins, I'm sure you'll be around for a long time, buddy. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Trust me, you don't want to be on a mission like that. Alright, why don't we investigate a bit? What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I heard Nihilus once took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Man, I can't believe I'm on a mission with an actual Spectre. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. You're a war hero, right? Held off an entire enemy fleet during the Blitz single-handed? That's the kind of talent the Spectres are looking for. This is all just wild speculation. The Spectres aren't interested in recruiting humans, no matter how capable. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime's one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's gotta be something else going on. 
We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not gonna screw this up. I would hope not, Jenkins. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Yeah, we've got to go now. Again, I'll talk to whoever I can see that I can talk to. Alright, let's go have a conversation now. Me and Inspector. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Don't forget here. He's not going to be mean or rude to aliens, but he's not going to trust them nearly as much. Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Is someone gonna fill me in, Captain? We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate. What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Well, I like him already. He's all about a meritocracy. Okay. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society, and without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. That is terrifying to me. Imagine what we know right now about how much we don't know, about how long it would take to even reach another system or whatever else, another galaxy. Wow, incredible. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. 
Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliant ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low key. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden Prime. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! out after that no calm traffic at all it just goes dead there's nothing reverse and hold the 38.5 mm -hmm. status report 17 minutes out captain no other alliance ships in the area take us in joker fast and quiet this mission just got a lot more complicated a small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention it's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Okay. Something new for us to do. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. I don't like putting my life in the hands of a Turian, sir. Nihilus is on our side. He wants you in the spectrum, and he wants that beacon. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! Okay, time to drop in. Approaching drop point two. Hopefully we'll be okay, I'm sure of it, too. And here we are. Yep, good to hear. Now hold on, before we go anywhere, we should probably allocate a few points over here. Now for myself, I put three points into charm. I feel like that's going to be needed. I'm only level one. I might as well unlock a few more dialogue options. I've already got one point into throw and one point into warp. Now over here for Alinko, I'm going to give him one point into first aid because hey, if we get hurt, we need someone to patch us up. Then over here, barrier. Bolsters your shields with a biotic barrier that will absorb up to 400 points of damage. Not bad. And Richard Jenkins. I'm sure you'll be here forever. I'll put two points into Soldier. There we go. Yeah, that should do it. I'm not going to take off my helmet right now. Let's get a move on now. Man, I haven't been back here in years. Many, many years. What the hell are those? 
Who's? Let's find out. Yes, yeah. Got him. Okay. I mean, I don't need to shoot him. Am I choosing to shoot him? Absolutely. If I miss anything at all, don't really worry about it. I'm going to reduce a few things to Omni Gel. That way, I don't need to do hacking. I'm not really good at the hacking, so I'll definitely do that. And you'll see what I mean later on, but let's go over here now. Anyone home? Only gas bags, okay. Okay, Jenkins, you take point. But not too much point, that would be dumb. Oh man, down he goes. Okay, well, there goes Jenkins. So over here, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take out my Lancer instead. I don't need to use any abilities, I just need to do some concentrated fire, much like that. There we go, got him. Okay, we're done here. We had our cover, and we won. Well, that's good, Alenko. Rip right through his shields. We're at a chance. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. Okay, we will come back for him. Someone's gonna come back for him. But yeah, we need to get a move on now. Let's see. Meta gel is needed to heal injured squad members. Understood. He's coming for me? First off, goodbye gas bag. Oh, there they are. I could be in cover, but I've got some shields, and I will be okay. There we go. Burned our buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. A lot of bodies. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. All right. Oh, here's even more of them. Hold on. Let's watch out. And don't worry, I am going to use my powers, just not on those, you know. Those are really not a big deal. Yeah, not at all. I can't believe Jenkins got gunned down like that. Come on. All right, come follow me. I think we got him. I think we're good now. We're in the clear. Let's move a little bit faster. I'm just zipping right through. Oh, here's another interesting area. Look who it is. A running person. Wow, that was really good. Oh my god. Okay, let's go help her out. Okay, I can't command her yet. I was just wondering about that, but I can't do that just yet. I'm gonna use my abilities. I've got them on my quick bar, which is pretty handy. Look at that. They're done for. Your help, Commander. I didn't think I was gonna make it. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Give me a status report, Williams. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, sir. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins. And the Beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the Beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? 
I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. Move out. All right, she's part of my team now. And here's an upgrade kit too. Yeah, I'm gonna go spend those talent points in just a moment. There we go. Ooh, some new rounds. I gotcha. I'll check those out real quick. And over here, a scorpion. If I don't need it, I can turn it into Omni Gel. Now, let's go back over here and check out our squad. So, what do we have over here? Combat armor? A good soldier. Understood. Level 1 right now. I think right now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put 1 point into soldier. Increases health by 4%. She's able to regenerate health too. Then after that, let's give her overkill. There we go. So, her assault rifle would generate 80% less heat and it does even more damage. Nice. Yeah, take that. That should do it. And everyone else is clear. Now hold on, I've got to pick up some new equipment too. Oh, that's much better armor. Look at that. More damage protection, shield, and tech and biotic protection. I'm going to turn that armor over into Omni Gel because I'm going to need that later for hacking. All right, so none of you have equipment to use right now. That's okay. Let's go back, and I think we're ready to move on. Eventually, I'm going to use my pistol and my shotgun more because I'm meant to. I get bonuses for it for my class. Hold on. That doesn't look safe to me, so let's move up. You know what? I want you two to move up right now. Just watch out, okay? Not quite a hit. There's one hit. There's another one. We did it. All right, so we've got more enemies to take down. Hey, you know what? Come back to me real quick. I'm going to use my biotic abilities right now. There's one. It does damage over time whenever I use that one ability. Let's try that one. Got him. Okay, my shields are still up. And they did level up. Now, I'm going to pull out my storm, my shotgun. Hold on, hold on. That was one hit. I took some damage there. But I'm not too worried about it. And I'll get better as, you know, we go on. I'll get better at combat. All right, so we've got some new items again, which I do need to look at. I'll probably do that on my own time, and you'll see some new equipment. If it's like a huge upgrade, I'll show you directly. But anyway, here we go, a dig site. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Okay, we'll go check that out. Now, before we do that, let's have a look again. 150, not bad. I'm going to give that over to Ashley. Yeah, I'm going to give her radioactive rounds. We do have different rounds out over here. A new shotgun. A little bit more damage. I'll take that too. Anti-personnel rounds. Sounds about right. And here's a new pistol. All right, accuracy down. But a bit more damage. No, I'll keep what I have right now. I think what I have right now is just okay. So we'll turn that over into Omni Gel 2. And that should largely do it. Yeah. We don't have much else over here. Omni Gel. I need a lot of it all the time. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Okay. Hopefully we'll see him there. But let's move now. Oh man. Looks like they hit the camp hard. Yeah, they did. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. What would you do if you saw that for the first time? Oh god, they're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? I mean, alive is one word. I'm not too sure about alive. All right, let's see here. So first off, I want you to use throw, and for you, Ashley, overkill. Do something, you know. Now, they did level up, so we're going to look at that in just a moment. So here comes more of them. Hold on. What else do we have? Sabotage, and I've got warp. That'll deal some damage over time, which is quite nice. Let's back it up real quick. They do like to blow up, so let's see. Here's throw. Push that back. Here's another one. Got it. And we got them all. Nice. Okay. We don't have to worry about that. All right. 
Anything I can use? Yeah, right over here. An upgrade kit. I'll take all of it. Even more equipment, you know? Not a bad thing to have. Alright, and in here? Here's a crate. I'll take that too. Oh, medium armor, a gladiator one. Then, some omni gel. Alright. We've got some hacking to do, which again, I'm not very good at it. So, I'm gonna go reduce a few items and equip what we need to for the team. Okay, we can also use some new abilities over here. I do like to open up every single dialogue option if possible. I'll take Intimidate. Then I'll put some points over into Warp. Yeah, give me my barrier. Nice. And over here for Ashley, I'm going to put some points into Assault Training. Adrenaline Burst. Recharges all talents so they can be used immediately. Nice. And over here, Combat Armor. There's a Shield Boost for her too. Now, Elenko. I'm going to give you a few points in Decryption. And over here into Electronics to unlock Overload. So, he's got the ability to allow me to decrypt. Now you still need to do it yourself, but it'll take his highest skill for that. That's why we're coming over here to use some Omni Gel, because I'm really bad at that little mini game. Yeah, look at that. So, some locked objects here require decryption or electronics. But I've got Omni Gel, so I'm not worried about it. Done. Humans, thank the Maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Don't worry. We'll protect you. Thank you. I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside, gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the Prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here, before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit... unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit... Unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Yeah, drug him up. Okay. Nothing in here for me to pick up. And we got that done, so that's looking pretty good. So now we just need to move on a little bit. Sarah. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Oh, man. 
I really did want to get to know him better, too. He was such a cool character in my view. You can even hear the gunshot. What a great scene. What is that? Whoa. Off in the distance. It's a ship. Look at the size of it. All right. Things are getting pretty serious right now, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to switch one over to a different gun. Yeah, now I can. There we go. Got to watch out. Got him. Okay. So we got two troopers. Now we've got to worry about the weird creatures coming for us. Let's be careful. We've got one right there. Come on. Shoot it up. I'll use... Why not a good throw? Oh, here's another one. Hold on. Barrier. Actually, instead, I want you to use throw as well. And use overkill. Don't let it touch me. Nice work. We got it. All right. Here's one more. All of you, shoot it. Well, that wasn't too bad at all. Talk about teamwork. I'm getting I'm getting a little bit better at combat. It took me a moment, but I think I've got a good handle on it now. Hopefully. We'll see in time, though. And what's over here? We've got a crate. All right. Omni-gel. How much do I have, anyway? I've got, right now, 20. I'm going to want a little bit more if I want to use my abilities. Yeah. My ability to just override any type of hacks. I'm going to look around for some equipment. Oh, wait. I do see a crate over here. That should do it. That should put me right on over. All right. Reduce down. And we are good. Here's another one. Perfect. That gave me a lot of Omni Gel. It was only level one armor, so I'm not too concerned about it. And it was for a Turian as well. All right. Now, who's in here? Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Ah, uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. Knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. It almost made it impossible to think. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You're breaking the law, Cole. We're not hurting anybody. Hell, most of the time I don't even know what's in the packages. Just thought there might be something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Okay. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport, if he's still alive. I have to go. Good luck. Well, that worked out. And I wasn't too mean about it. Oh, look at that. A level 2 pistol. And a new combat upgrade. Alright, a weapon upgrade anyway. Let's have a look at that. And see what we can do. Then we'll move on over here and investigate more. Oh man, check out my new pistol over here. 132 damage. It's really good. And I've got my upgrade, Combat Sensor 1. Some enemies use Jimmy technology to block your weapon radar. 
The combat scanner upgrade improves detection levels, making these enemies visible. Nice. All right. I'll be able to see more out there, but let's get a move on. Oh, yep, there it's he is. It's Nihilus. I know, I know, but before we move on, we need to pick up everything that we can. Everything that we can see. Basic rounds. Not a bad upgrade to have in combat. All right, time to investigate. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, don't, don't shoot. I'm one of you. I'm human. Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next... Those Geth were swarming over the platform, thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It... It was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And... It was making this noise, this... This sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. You're Cole's contact here on the docks. For the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. Doesn't matter now, does it? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch! We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Just give me the grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. A lot of Marines died here, Powell. Those grenades could have come in handy. If I were you, I'd think of some way to make it up to them. Yeah, uh, okay. There is something else I was saving. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Yeah, get out of here. Okay, so we got a nice upgrade for our grenades. Here's our grenade launcher. High explosive one, more damage, a larger radius, and more weapons force. There we go. So we've got... A couple of enemies over here. Very well. I'll take care of that one with a good warp. Eat that. My shields are still up. And now we need a good throw. I've got to aim it just right. I always felt like they would follow them, but evidently I need to aim it just right for it to land, which is understandable. 
All right, let's come over here. I think it was in a different game where they would actually just track him down so you could like hit him behind. Oh, wow. Behind cover. Good job. There's a big boy right down over there. We'll want to take that one out. You know what? I'm going to switch my weapon again. Use overkill. You could use barrier. Sure. Do that. We need to take it down. Let's try it out. I don't know how much is left, but we'll just keep on shooting. It's not running towards us, which makes me feel better. We got it. Cool. Not bad. All right, let's move up. Come on now, don't hit me. I'm Commander Shepard. There's a medical crate. Nice, okay. And we've got a few to worry about. I can barely see your little heads. Got that one. Okay, what about the other one? Is it gonna pop up? Not yet. I'm gonna save my grenades for later. I might need them. There goes another one. Not quite there yet. Come on, you two. You got it. I believe in you. I'm gonna bring out, let's see, my pistol again. It's quick. It's good. All right. Medical kit. Got it. Metagel. Nice. Let's finish off those who are here at the moment. Get him back into cover again. Got him. All right. Again, I'm not using any powers just because they're right behind cover. I don't want them to get blocked. There we go. Now we can. What a great power. All right. Let's get a move on. That was pretty good. Everything's feeling pretty strong now. All right, so we've got to get down over here and try to find Saren. There he is. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. So we've got charges to take out. Oh, I remember this part now. Oh, the pressure. Let's move quickly. Shoot him right in their one eye. That's what we're gonna have to do. Okay, team. Let's get it together. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. All right, there's one. Yeah, all of my upgrades are really helping out. If you don't go down that route, things can be a lot harder. I mean, having all these nice combat upgrades, whatever else you get, it's quite vital, I think. All right, let's see. I'm going to use over here warp. Let's do that. Got him. All right, let's move again. I need to get into position right over here. Got that one, too. All right. Here's another charge. Man! Shepard, you're really capable. He's like, yep, I've got all the capabilities I need to take out foreign charges. Don't worry about me. They're all the same. I've seen the movies. I've done the simulations. Whoa, there's a shield. Gotta watch out for that. All right, let's see. Use throw. And for you, use overkill. Just get him. You can do it, I think. Yep, got him. That shield is back up. We'll shoot right through it. Oh, there's even more of them. All right, I need all of you to be careful. He's in a lot of trouble right now. All right, no barrier for him to use at the moment. That's unfortunate. Got that one. Now for the other one. The one who's waiting. You know what? I'm going to disarm that first. Probably a bit more important. Hopefully they'll be okay. I think they'll be okay. All right, let's move up. I was going to use an ability, but I was hoping that he would pop up by then. That's okay. We're waiting. There we go. All right, another one gone. Now for the rest of them. All right, bias. Okay. And that's how you get flanked. All right, my team is performing pretty darn well. Alenko. Obviously, it's a bit more squishy. I like having Ashley here. She likes to get the job done, you know? 
Ooh, here we go. A new shotgun. I'm not going to use a shotgun too often here, but if I do, I'll switch over to it. I see two down here to take out. Yep, there's one. All right. Again, we'll use warp. It's quite vital that I use warp whenever I can. It deals so much damage, it rips right through them. Now, about that trooper. Oh, here's one. Throw. Got him. All right. There's a husk as well. Yeah. I'm not too concerned. They have my back. I think they'll take down any targets like that who come at me. For the most part, anyway. All right. You've got to use throw right now. If you want to be okay, you've got to use throw right now. Got it. All right. I think we did it. I'm feeling pretty good. Oh, I'm so bad at those. I'll reduce down a few items in just a moment. I'm going to look around for some gear, and then we'll come back and take a look at that thing. Okay, that's really not too bad. It's a bit different from back in the day whenever I played this on console. I gotcha, so I can definitely do this one. That's really easy. Take all. I mean, later on, I'll get so much Omni Gel, it won't even matter anyway, but... Let's go over here and open up that other locker. All right, let's see here. I can't even remember how the old minigame went on console. That was a long time ago. Alright, let's see. We'll come over here where it's a bit more open. Let's hold on. And we're good. We got it all. Nice. Okay. Oh, wait. Here's a crate. Gotta pick it all up, you know. It's needed. Gotta take it all. Whenever I can. Let's touch it. Why not? Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Oh man, I know everything now. Terrifying. There it is, man. The ship. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Well, that was good. And now I'm back. Doctor, Dr. Chakwas, I think he's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. 
but I detected some unusual brain activity, abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement, signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are we gonna tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador, and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Yeah, I can do that. Okay everyone, we'll call it here for right now. If you do want to see more, make sure you let me know right down below. But we've got a lot of storytelling to do, and a lot to see. Thank you for watching. Until then.